Hey, I'm Liv, and if you don't know, I kind of love being a pirate, clearly. So much so, in fact, that I did a video about this last year. I've been to the Pirate Festival in Colorado, yes, there's Pirate Festival here, multiple times. This is me at the Pirate Festival, in fact. And this is me and Patrick at every other Pirate Festival they've done here. We were even their header on their Facebook page for a little bit. We put on a pirate workout at our gym every single year and do all sorts of piratey sort of work yowdy things like rope climbs and jumping over things and cannonball tosses and stuff like that. It's super fun. We even got to knock off a bucket list item by being part of Gasper Villa in Tampa and joining a pirate float. It was the first ADA pirate float in the US actually. Unbelievable experience. So this year, things are a little different. We're still gonna be doing the pirate workout, but it's gonna be in the park, physically distanced and things like that, but we're still gonna do it. And we're still doing the pirate festival. It's still going on in just a couple hours actually, but it's a drive-in event. And it's a car costume event. So you might know that we already decorated our car for the Ichio shows recently. If you missed that, I'll pop the video up over here. So I decided to convert the lights on the back of the car where we have the Ichio logo and turn it into a Jolly Roger. I thought that I would share that experience with you. And of course, because it's pirate day, we're gonna be turning my leg into a peg leg too. So let's get on with it. All right, as you know, International Talk Like a Pirate Day is coming up, which is also my birthday. So it's time to start making some pirate stuff. If you saw the video that we did recently where we decorated the car for the Ichio show, you'll see what I did with the back tire. I'm gonna be doing that, but with skull and crossbones. Everything's already set there, so we're sort of just replacing the front of it. I don't have any foam core left, so we're gonna do it with this really thin cardboard, and hopefully it turns out okay. It's actually kind of bone colored, not white, or it's really dirty and old, I'm not sure. Either way, we're gonna be doing a Jolly Roger, so that'll work. Let's go. To start off with, we have our Jolly Roger art right here. I just kind of used a couple different Jolly Rogers that I found online and converted it so that it should work well on a Cricut. This is of course gonna be floating, but we're going to make a plastic sheet for that. All right, let's do it. Open this baby up. Let's find a piece of cardboard that isn't too terribly dang. This is shiny on the back, interesting. You're on the bottom, you feel pretty good. Let's use you. Man, my Cricut software is slow. Okay, cool, so we're gonna use this standard 12 by 12 square and kind of get a shape that we want to chop out around about there. Let's pop that on there. Close enough. Now in this design space, let's make a new project. Okay, we welded it together so that it's one cutting layer. And I'm gonna go for it. Probably flat cardboard. All right, let's pop it in there. Awesome, that looks great. Yeah, that turned out really nicely. All right, so I have these dental pick tools that are really useful too. Uh, I use them interchangeably with the Cricut tools. They're quite nice and sharp for picking. So we're gonna pick this and really we probably don't have to pick much. Is that cut all the way through? That's a good thing to check always. All right, that's doing nicely. Okay, here we have our Jolly Roger. I'm gonna scooch him over there. 
Now we're gonna take a really old and dirty piece of cardboard and hmm, maybe that side. I happen to know that a very good fit for my tire is a 15 pound plate. Actually any pound plate, but this is easy to pick up. So we're gonna use this as a reference. I very much regret being lazy and only having this tiny pair of scissors available. But we're almost there. Okay, now I'm just gonna trace a little bit on the inside of this. When I say trace, I mean eyeball poorly. All right. So let's see, our Jolly Roger is gonna sit in there like this. Perfect, that's gonna look super cute. All right, let's make our plastic now. So you can certainly buy plastic sheeting, but to do this, I've just been using stuff that I have lying around in my house. And in this case, I have these sheet protectors, non-glare, which is good because I don't necessarily want them shining on the car. Actually, I think some of these are different, but let's see. These are a bit thin, these are a bit too thin. The ones that I have here are quite thick, if you can see, and that's sort of more optimal. Woo, cool. Okay, so these, let's see if we can see the thickness of these. I can't, but super heavy weight. <laughs> so this is sort of perfect for what we're doing. All right, let's grab a couple of these, pop the rest away. Okay, and for the size of circle that we have, we will be able to get away with four. No, yes. Yeah, that'll be good. So we're gonna trim off the edges, this white here. The bottom and the top will hold this together. But last time I did this, I actually glued the plastic sheeting separately to itself and then glued it to the shape. But I think this will work wonderfully to just glue it directly to the shape. If you can see here, there's a very slight overlap of like half a centimeter, and that should be enough. All right, let's cut the rest. All right, I'm gonna find some heavy objects to place in this and be right back. Okay, what we have here is a lava lamp. <laughs> I should turn this thing on, it's really sparkly. A hand and a can of soda. Hopefully this will be enough. We are using E6000, which is my favorite glue in the whole world. All right, this is gluing so nicely that I think we're actually gonna flip it and glue the skull and crossbones, the Jolly Roger. Cool, that looks amazing. Let's let this dry and come back tomorrow and trim it all out. Hello again, we're back. We're gonna see what this looks like. It's been a full day, so hopefully this held everything really nicely. Take, oh my gosh, my hand is stuck. <gasps> my hand is stuck. This is from South Africa from when I was a kid. So this is not the right thing to stick to something. That was really close. It's plaster of Paris underneath. Oh, I didn't even know there was a little heart there. I bet my sister doesn't know that I still have this. She actually had a mannequin and she made this hand. Or I guess she had the hand and I made it into something. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Okay, we just got a little bit of glue seepage. Let's see if it's stuck to the table. Ah, oh, jeez. I did really well with this. Okay. All right. All right. It seems okay. We're good. This is what crappy tables are for. There we go. We're gonna cut this out, and today I actually brought normal size scissors, so this will be a pinch. 
Now a couple spots here, the double-sidedness of the sheet protector is coming up a bit, so we're gonna get our glue and just tap a little bit in there. Perfect, I love it. In all honesty, you don't have to use E6000 for this. I did previously because I was using foam core and it's a bit heavier, so I really wanted that to stay. I think you could definitely use hot glue for this and be just fine. It would probably be quite a bit easier, although uh, I do still like E6000 for the sheet protectors, just to make sure that it fuses really nicely. I don't know, actually, hot glue might be fine too, so yeah. I think it's something that could work with easy things on hand. I kind of assume everyone has a hot glue gun, do you? Anyways, next step, we're gonna go attach this to the car. There is some Velcro already on there, so we're gonna match this up to the Velcro that's on there, make sure that it sticks well. I think it's gonna look awesome. I can't wait. Okay, here we have the gorgeous sparkly thing from my itch.io shows. We actually haven't taken this off since then, so let's see how this goes. Actually gripped really nicely. So, whoop. <laughs> We're gonna cut some new Velcro strips to match up with what's already here and then glue it onto our Jolly Roger. I just realized we might have used E6000 last time, but we'll try this. I think so, yeah. E6000 will probably hold better. Should we do that? Probably. Okay. We're gonna come back to this then <laughs> tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, side note, this is the best thing ever. It's a portable glue gun. It's rechargeable by micro USB, so I'm just gonna use this to top up the sticky on the spot right here. It does blow through glue like crazy though, but very useful. All right, we'll come back to this tomorrow. Patrick had a great idea that we'll just use the other circle itch.io thing that we have and uh, use that as reference so we can glue this at home. Yeah. Okay, we're back. We have our Itch.io car light thingy and our Jolly Roger car light thingy. And we're going to use the Itch.io one as a reference for where to stick the Velcro for the Jolly Roger. So this is the top. We want it to face the same direction. Can you see anything? Not really. Let's move you a little. So there's the top of our Itch.io. There's our Jolly Roger. We'll pop that there. And... So that's where we're going to stick our Velcro. Okay, that looks pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. And so we're using E6000 for this because I don't want to melt the plastic with hot glue by mistake. And I uh, want this to be able to sort of handle being bashed around a bit as well. So I'm going to pop some E6000 on this and then we're just gonna gently lay our Jolly Roger on top. Okay, hopefully that's enough E6000 that it holds and doesn't absorb too much in the Velcro, but not so much that it splooshes and glues to itself, because that would suck. Okay, let's drop it on. Let's find something to plop on it. Not too heavy. A couple Cricut sticky sheets, perfect. All right. Work your magic. And now, for the final piece, the ultimate, the peg leg. Okay, it's finally time, the ultimate moment. We are going to peg my leg. I'm gonna tilt the camera down so you can see my leg and you can see me popping this tape on it. This is furniture repair tape. It's the same one I used last time if you watched that video. I love this stuff. I like using a lighter wood because it contrasts better against my skin and looks more wood-like. They've got a bunch of different ones. It's really good. I like this stuff a lot. I'll link it down below. Okay, let's get to it. Ooh, but first, I'm gonna put in my new Pixel Buds and play some pirate music while I work.
Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna be allowed to link the music that I was listening to, but if I can, I will do it down below because that was so fun. Nothing like making a peg leg and listening to really intrepid pirate music. Pretty much the whole score of Pirates of the Caribbean and old movies. <laughs> so this is the leg, it is done. This is not the neatest peg leg I've ever done, I'll be totally honest, but I'm not gonna get close enough to anyone for them to see that. <laughs> But you gotta have a peg leg if you get in pirate mode, right? Speaking of which, something's missing. Hmm. Ah, much better. Sufficiently piratey. I have my peg leg on, I have my full pirate costume on, and my pirate hat. I'm ready for this. Are you ready? Good. Well, let's go then. First, we're gonna check out the pirate festival tonight. Don't miss the workout tomorrow afterwards. Let's go. Hey, we are now on our way to the pirate festival. I do not look piratey. Yeah. No, but the rest of you does. Look at this shirt. This is from the pirate store, Pirate Fashions in Tampa. It's so good. You look really good at tailored stuff. Hang on a minute. There, better. <laughs> There's terrible traffic as per usual. Uh, Patrick was optimistic. Yeah, earlier. too optimistic. Too optimistic. So now we're calmly making our way over. All right, we'll see you in 50 minutes. Ugh. Hey! <laughs> Oh, hello! <laughs> That's awesome. I have arrived! It's so cute! The lady at the front recognized me because of my eye makeup. <laughs> so uh, she said, Happy birthday! Already, it's very sweet. That's a nice pirate costume over there. People look amazing. We're going to get the car ready. All new gear, new mask, new hat. I love it! It's awesome! Yay! New mask too. Yeah. Ooh, and seashells to decorate my mask with. Tell my mask. My hat. Hey! Hey! <laughs> they don't say brown. We dropped the car off. We're walking the dog home. We got some challah, homemade challah for Rosh Hashanah. And that was an awesome night. Oh my gosh, I almost dropped the fella. We won the car costume contest. Car costume. <laughs> car costume contest, which is pretty amazing. And it's just a really good time. I got a new hat. I'm very happy. I'm a happy camper. Arg. Arg. <laughs> And with that, good night. <laughs> yeah. Hey! Are you wearing your pajamas? Arr. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I only skull t shirt. It's perfect. <laughs> I am impressed with the amount of piratiness that you have going on, though. Oh, no. <laughs> you scallywags. Let's get a little warm up. Huh? What? You push up and hook. Come on. It's a pirate plank. <laughs> Get off your goddamn phone! That's when we get our buccaneer burpees. <laughs> What's a buccaneer burpee? That's some shit I made up. That's right. Here to come down. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's a burpee with two jump lunges. It's a burpee with two jump lunges. That's actually That's right. brilliant. <laughs> it's pretty party. Like Swim for sure! Yes, Skellywag! Patrick Portside, we'll call him. Oh, Portside Patrick! Portside Patrick, right? I love it! Yeah! Wee! Oh. Yay, hooligan! See where it's there? Oh. <laughs> 